Hello students, uh, now we're going to be going over um, geometric sequence. So a geometric sequence is a sequence um, in which if I look at the consecutive terms, one term after another, in order for me to get the next one, there's a common ratio, or simply put, I'm multiplying by the same number. Uh, so what am I multiplying to get, to get to the next term? Uh, the recursive formula for this one is f of n, uh, f of n minus 1 times r, times our common ratio. For the explicit formula, it's our first term, a, times our common ratio to the n minus 1. So as we go through, just so I'll put it off to the side, so our explicit formula would be f of n equals f of n minus 1 times r. And for the explicit, it's f of n equals my first term times, and again, you look at your common ratio to the n minus 1. So we're going to be using those two. This is the uh, recursive. And this is the explicit. So in the previous section, we looked at an arithmetic. We're adding to get to the same one. Now we're going to be looking and seeing. Now we're going to be multiplying to get to, this, to the next one. We're always going to put it in terms of multiplication. So if I divide it by 2, that's the same as multiplying by 1 half. So always put it in terms of multiplication. We're going to don't put it in where it's not in terms of, of division. So we'll go through the, the sequences here. So first one that I look at, this is my first term, just to let you know. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. If they don't give you term numbers, always the first one they give you is your first term. So how do I go from 32 to 16, from 16 to 8, from 8 to 4? Obviously, I'm not subtracting the same number. This has a difference of 16. So 16, this has a difference of 8, this has a difference of 4. So I'm not, obviously not subtracting the same number. If you're not sure, okay, take the term, so this is my first term, whatever term comes after it, 16, divided by the term in front of it. So 16 divided by 32, that's 1 half. The term 8, what comes before 8 is 16, that's 1 half. 4, what comes before 4 is 8, that's 1 half. So I can't take 32, there, I don't know what term it is. So you can look at it and say, hey, I'm dividing by 2 each time. We're going to put it in terms of multiplication. So to write the explicit formula, we'd say it's f of n equals f of n minus 1 times 1 half. That's the recursive. For the explicit, we say f of n equals my first term. My first term was 32 times my common ratio, that's 1 half to the n minus 1. So always put it in terms of multiplication. So I go through here again. My first term is actually here. So, but what am I doing? 3 to 6. How do I go from 6 to 12, 12 to 24, 24 to 48? I'm multiplying by 2 for each one of these. So timesing by 2 for all of these. So my explicit formula would be f of n equals f of n minus 1 times 2. I'm multiplying by 2. And if I go f of n for the, ex, uh, recur, or the explicit means first term. What's in my first term would be 6 times my common ratio of 2 to the n minus 1. So pay attention. We always put that first term. Even if we start at, if we start at the zero term, we put in whatever's in that first term. Okay, so now we go to the next one. Okay, it's the same thing. We want to write the explicit formula as we go through it. So I go, hey, 1 25th to 1 5th, uh, 1 5th to 1, 1 to 5. So I go to the whole numbers. How do I go from 1 to 5? Well, I'm multiplying by 5. Again, if you're not sure, just take the term in front of it. So if I want to know, okay, 5 divided by 1. 1 Divide by one fifth. And you can do that on your calculator. You can do one fifth divided by one twenty fifth on your calculator. You could go twenty five divided by five. So if you're never, sh if there's a point where you're not sure, then just take the term um, in, uh, that you have and divide it by the term in front of it. So my common ratio is five. I'm timesing by five. I'm multiplying by five. So then we go through. Okay, the uh, recursive formula is f of n 
equals f of n minus 1 times 5. My recursive formula, f of n, equals my first term. What's in my first term? 1 25th times my ratio of 5 to the n minus 1. So then we go to Um, it's gonna have, uh, so we'll go to this one, give you a look. So write the terms of the given geometric sequence and then graph it as we go through it. So I'll just go through this first one. So they give us this, uh, it's 2 times 2 to the n power, so 2 times 2 to the n power. Now they say n is anything greater than or equal to 0. So I'm going to plug 0 in for this. And then I graph it. So I'm going to plug in 0, so 0, I'm going to plug in, so I'm just going to make a table of values. So I'm going to plug in, uh, for n, I'm going to plug in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. My graph is this big, so I'm going to make it that big. And then f of n, what's the value that I have? So if I plug in 0, so I'm going to go 2 times 2 to the 0 power. Any number to the 0 power is 1, so that's 2 times 1. I get 2. Then I plug in 1. So I'm going to go 2 times 2 to the first power. 2 to the first power is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to plug in okay, 2 times 2 to the second power. Exponents go first. So 2 to the second power is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Then I'll plug in here. 2 times uh, 2 to the third power. 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So 2 times 8, that's 16. And then lastly, I go 2 times 2 to the fourth power. So 2 to the fourth power is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So now I graph this. I'm taking that 0, 2, 1, 4, oh, 1, there you go, we're counting by 2's down here, 1 and 4. Then we have 2, 2 and 8. I have 3 and 16. So 3 and 16. And then if I look at it, 4 and 32 is not even on it. So then I graph it. I just connect it like this. And that's a, actually what we're talking about is exponential growth there. So that's what you do as far as graphing. So we're going to look at our two values and we're, or two types of sequences that we could have. And um, and determine, is it geometric or arithmetic? If it's geometric, I'm multiplying to get to my next term. If it's arithmetic, I'm adding. Remember if, um, we always put in terms of multiplication, so if it's getting smaller, I'm multiplying by one half, one third, one fourth, two thirds, two ninths. If I'm not sure, take the term and divide it by the term in front of it to find that ratio as you go through. So that's our lesson on uh, geometric sequences.